Good morning, my dear friends. It is great to be with you all again here in beautiful Surfside, California. Gorgeous morning here after Thanksgiving weekend. I hope you had a great time with family and friends. I'm fresh in from a wonderful trip down to Blackfin Sport Fishing in Punta Banda, Baja, California, right there next to Ensenada. And what a day it was, spending time with some great kids from an orphanage that is located out in the Valle de Guadalupe. And man, I'll tell you, so many people came out to make this event extraordinary, principally blackfin sport fishing, and then all the people who sponsored a kid and then brought down a gift for the children. It was truly a beautiful thing. I mean, they not only went out and bought these gifts, but then they came down and spent time with the kids, and it was a beautiful, beautiful thing to witness. So, we've got a lot of fishing to get into. We've got a lot of Baja to talk about, and we've got so much more. You know what time it is, everybody. It is time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Ah, uh, glorious. <laughs> Hey, it really is great to be back with you all again. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Freedman Adventures YouTube channel. Man, I'll tell you, we had an extraordinary time in Baja, California. I'm actually putting together a video that's going to be kind of a travel log. I mean, there's some die for carne asada tacos that you're going to want to hit if you go through Tecate, Baja, California. A great, quaint, little, beautiful city in northern Baja, California. I always like stopping by Los Amigos. I'll have some stuff on that as well as just travel in general and of course the event with Blackfin Sport Fishing. We'll cover all of that. Man, I'll tell you, Victor, who is running Blackfin Sport Fishing, one of the guys who makes it so special. I, I love the guy before. I love him even more now because, wow, what an event he put on. It was truly a beautiful thing to have been a part of. We felt so blessed to have been there. George Feldman, who did all the driving, and we brought down all kinds of jackets and clothing, and so much clothing that it was really, really a testament to everything that you've done to give us that clothing so we can take it down there. And we were able to take care of hundreds of kids, so I can't thank you enough for that. And then all the people who made it so special, I absolutely relished the time that I spent there, and I can't wait to do another event like that with them really, really soon. Victor and I, we're going to get together and do a lot more, but this was all Victor. This was all the other folks. We just showed up. They had it all organized. They did all the work, and man, I'll tell you, brought a tear to my eye to see those kids, how innocent, how lovely, how polite, how wonderful a job that that orphanage is doing with those kids. You know, you can see behavioral problems with kids if maybe, well, I mean, it could be childhood trauma, but also if they're not being well taken care of. And there was none of that. These kids were polite, fun, great, smart, really, really a special time. So as I said, I'm putting a uh, video together on that. I should have that for you a little bit later today. All right, let's start out down there at Blackfin Sport Fishing. Now we'll talk fishing a little bit and tell you that the bottom bite remains excellent down there. And the weather for the next week or so, at least in terms of the forecast, is for beautiful weather. It's going to be perfect for catching lings and bocachios and reds and whitefish and all of those bottom species that are so good to eat. So if you want to make that trip down to Blackfin Sport Fishing, and why not participate and fish with guys who are making our world a better place, you can give them a call, reach out to them on Facebook. There's all kinds of ways to get a hold of them. Uh, some of our friends have been down there recently and had great fishing, but just love the way they get treated there, and I second that 
I third that. I slam my fist down and tell you Blackfin's a great place. Good bottom fishing going on down there. Arnie Mann also runs out of Ensenada. He's at a different part, though. Right when you come into Ensenada through the toll gate, right there is where you're going to find Arnie Mann. You can find him on Facebook also, Arnie Sword Fishing. He's had the occasional yellowtail, but mostly bottom fish. Also, the bottom bite going along well, and the weather's going to be great. Now, you know what? It just dawns on me right now because... If you get a sprinkle or two or a little bit of rain on your head, you're going to say, what in the heck is that maniac who stands on the beach every morning on the morning briefing saying about good weather? So when I talk about weather, I'm talking about one thing or maybe two things in particular. I'm talking about the ocean surface. Is it going to be rough? And probably you could throw wind in. But those two things go together. I'm talking about a comfortable, easy to fish in, kind of situation. If you get a little rain on your head, fish don't care about that. So I'm talking about when I say weather, I'm talking about that. It may rain, it may, you know, snow, it may do something else. But as long as that ocean surface is nice and flat calm, that's all I'm talking about for all of you. So just so you keep that in mind as we go along. All right, let's talk San Diego and that bluefin tuna area. It is very hit and miss right now. Is it over? Probably not. I, I just don't know when. The thing's going to end. In fact, out of 22nd Street landing in San Pedro, the Pride has got a trip, a 1.75 day trip, leaving on Tuesday morning. And uh, they're going to go out and see if they can give it a try. Now, is it a slam dunk? By no stretch of the imagination. Could you hit a home run? Of course you could. You saw the Freedoms Count the other day. Uh, it was magnificent fishing. Big blue fin biting full speed for a couple of hours. But they got on the right bunch of fish. There were other boats that had very poor fishing. And I see the Tribute with two fish out of San Diego on a day and a half trip. I mean, there's some real stinkers in there right now. So you do have to have a little bit of lady luck. One thing about Sean Roberts over there on the Pride and Michael Potvin, those guys have been hot. They fish hard. They know what they're doing. So you got to give them a little extra, you know, shot at pulling this one off. So they're going Tuesday morning. The Freedom... We showed you that great trip. Go back and look at it if you haven't seen it because there was some great fish being offloaded there. But the Freedom, um, they uh, went out on a subsequent trip and they had zero. Not much at all. My good friend Valentino going by. So it was a very slow trip their second day out there. And hopefully that is going to kick back into gear here very, very soon. We'll see what the Pride does. So offshore bluefin. Pretty tough. Water temps drop down, but you still can rip one out of the park with the right kind of scenario and situation. A little bit of lady luck, but also the expertise in working hard comes in handy. And I have no doubt that the guys on the Pride will put all that together and give it their best shot. So hopefully I'll be down at 22nd Street Landing Thursday morning seeing them offload a great catch. That would be awesome. Those 1.75 day trips are great because you fish at night and this bite has been principally a nighttime kind of bite. That's when these fish have been biting. You might scratch a fish or two in the daytime fishing 40 or 60 pound fluorocarbon. We like OpsonUSA.com. OpsonUSA.com is the way you want to do it. FA at checkout and Gray Brown will send you a free gift as well as uh, a nice little love note to go along with it. So fishing that in the daytime has been a good way to go at night. It's been the heavier knife jigs. And when the captain says drop, you want to get down there ASAP. So we're talking 300, maybe 400 to 600 gram knife jigs to get down fast and get a bite. 100, 130 pound Spectra, 200 pound leader. You should be in good shape if you do that. So that covers that offshore scene, which is a little iffy. This does belie what is going on out there right now. I mean, you're looking at tranquil, beautiful, calm seas, no wind. It's absolutely gorgeous. But out behind San Clemente Island, it's certainly out on the banks, Tanner and Cortez. It is nasty today. And that's going to be short lived, thank God. By Tuesday, we get back to some pristine and beautiful conditions. A lot of this is offshore and north. So Channel Islands are going to get. Uh, some wind, but it's going to go back to beautiful. And down the Baja Coast, Blackfin area that we were talking about, it's going to be nice and calm down that way. So you don't have to worry about it in that neck of the woods. That still looks really, really good. All right, uh, let's talk islands a little bit. Todos Santos, mostly rockfish. Coronado, same thing. 
uh, Clemente, there's some yellows there still biting, a little bit of calicos, rockfish, Catalina, mostly rockfish, with a lot of bonita still wandering around there. Uh, up in uh, the Santa Barbara Island area, there's some big yellows there, not a lot, but some. There's still a lot of squid around, so that's the magnet that brings in all the predators up in the Channel Islands. Copious amounts of rockfish. It's been good up there with some really excellent hits on the lings and their bottom bite up there has just been spectacular and remains that way again. On the coast, we're looking at mostly shallow water rockfish from Ensenada all the way up to the Channel Islands. And up there in Burgess and Morro Bay, they continue to catch good rockfish up there in that neck of the woods also. So that's going along pretty well. I have got, what is that? Well, nothing. I thought I saw something on the beach. Um, yeah, really. I know what you're thinking. Stop right now. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, I, I've got to give this a try. I, I've got to check the tides. It looks kind of low right now, but uh, I'm going to check the tides and give this a thorough going over perhaps tomorrow. See if I can't get a halibut out of here or a yellowfin croaker or something like that. It's about time we did that also. Um, we are going to have Danny Cadota's live show this Thursday. I haven't talked to Danny recently, but now that I'm back in the USA from Mexico, well, I'll talk to him, make sure we're good. I'll, I'll let you know more about that as the week progresses. Tomorrow I'll have more on that, but I'm so excited to have Danny on board. There is not a nicer gentleman with more expertise in this business than Danny Cadota. He's number one. I can't wait to see that. All right. Uh, don't know if I'm forgetting anything else. Uh, I'm going to be playing a little catch up here today since I've been down in Mex for a couple of days, but as always, it's so great to be back with you all. And I haven't been here on the beach for a long time. It's a beautiful morning. It's glorious. The sun just kind of peeking out from the clouds right now, illuminating my bald head that the kids down in Baja, California found so fascinating. They all wanted to touch the pelon, the bald guy. So I had to, of course, say no problem, kids. All right. You have a great day. It's always great to be back with you. I'll have more for you. Of course, we'll have more live shows in 2023. The Friedman Adventures channel is going to grow and grow and grow. Thanks to everybody who made that day in Punta Banda at Victor's uh, down there at Blackfin Sword Fishing. Such a special and memorable day for me. You know, I saw it with my own eyes. All those people did so much for those kids. Did so much made a huge impact on their lives. But all those people, and I talked to all of them, and yours truly, and I can tell you this from my years in Costa Rica teaching down there with the poor, as well as Mexico for a few years, um, I can tell you, they do way more for us than we're able to do for them. They show us that even in really tough times, you can have a smile on your face and you can put one foot in front of the other and keep moving ahead. Those kids, are the ones who showed us that. All right, enough. I'll see you soon. Have a great morning and uh, another update tomorrow morning, if not one sooner than that. As always, I hope to see you really, really soon.